Final Fantasy VII Remake is one of the most anticipated games of all time, and its fans are starved for any new information they can get. So far, we've gotten updates from E3 in June and the Tokyo Game Show in September, while the game is due out in March. There's still so much that we don't know about the game. More precisely, details about the multi-game structure, where Red 13 is, or more importantly, what Cloud is going to look like in his dress. However, there is good news. Final Fantasy VII Remake will be receiving a brand new trailer at Jump Vesta 2019. Jump Vesta itself runs from the 21st of December through the 22nd, so this will be a Christmas present from Square Enix directly to us, and I couldn't think of a better present. Except for a uh, PSN demo, but good luck with that. Final Fantasy VII Remake will lead the forefront of the Square Enix show, where they'll be showing off a brand new trailer, and they'll also have a photo corner and novelty, which sounds a lot like their typical concept art gallery, merch, and the Hardy Daytona replica, which also also made its rounds at E3 and various other conventions. The other games they'll be showing off at Jump Vesta include Tatakae Dragon Quest Scanner Battles, which is an arcade game, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, as well as the Brave Exvius spin-off War of the Visions, Dragon Quest of the Stars, which is a mobile game, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition, and Trials of Mana. One title that is noticeably missing is Kingdom Hearts 3 in its brand new expansion DLC Remind. This DLC is set to arrive this winter, meaning that it should be just a few months away. And yet we haven't seen too much of it. And what we have seen, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around. Final Fantasy VII Remake has a lot of things it could potentially show off with this new upcoming trailer. Rufus Shinra has still yet to be seen in the context of this remake. We still don't really know what the Watchmen of Fate actually do, or what their role is yet. So I'd like to see a few more clues on what they actually do within the story. Information on the new soldiers also always welcome. Professor Hojo and Red 13 are still a mystery to us. And I think more than anything though, I want to see what footage of just exploring Midgar is like. What is the experience of just going through Midgar, taking on side quests, fighting enemies? What does it look like? Right now that is my biggest question still left about the game. The game has also received its ESRB rating, and it will be maintaining its teen rating from the original. As many of you know, I was hoping that the game would be M rated, so Square Enix didn't feel any hesitation when it came to presenting all the original game's more mature content in full HD glory. I am under the assumption that they found a way to make that content work and keep their targeted age rating. With that being said, I would really love to see some content from the Wall Market and Don Corneo events. We've already seen Aerith in her formal dress. Now I think it's high time that we see Tifa in hers, which should leave a good impression for the crowd. I'm super excited to see this trailer, and the moment it goes live, you can expect me to have have several videos posted, breaking down all the new content and information as always. So Ultima Weapons, I want to know, what is the number one thing you're hoping to see from this new trailer? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know in the comments below. And if you've been enjoying my content, be sure to check out the Patreon for the Night Sky Prince, where you can thank awesome people like Alex Pru for help making these videos possible. So if you really enjoy these videos, be sure to check the link in the description below. Shout out to Alex and the rest of the Ultima community.